Hello Taurus, welcome my friends to your weekly reading with me Cindy and Lily. It's not a dead dog and it's not a stuffy, but it kind of looks like it. <laughs> she needs a bath is what she needs. I need to give her a bath. I am contemplating taking her into the groomer. Well, the place that I go now, I'm not very good at that and she looks still a little rough. And I think she wants to be a pretty girl. <laughs> be a pretty girl but I'm just not yeah I'm not good at the sort of thing so they're opening those up around here I think they're open now so thinking about it we'll see all right Taurus your blind spot let's see Taurus's blind spot Taurus's blind spot Taurus's blind spot what is coming behind them it's coming up soon because the blind spot is kind of you know it's almost head to head with you. you got to do three. That's what you got to do. You got to do three on me. Oh my goodness. You got three. You have a woman holding a coin. You have rest and rejuvenation. You have a lot. And then you have appreciation. Oh, and you have cornucopia. Isn't that interesting? You're moving into some nice cycle here. It's like, um, I feel like you're going to get some sort of an offer. And it's very, it feels like it's coming from a, like a feminine energy. Um, whether that's, you know, like um, a new job opportunity or this could be coming from an individual in your life, like more on a personal level, whether it's uh, a partner or a parent or someone, but it does feel like it's feel, feeling very feminine. There is also a man holding the coin in this deck. Someone is going to be offering you something on a very monetary way. And then, it I feel like it's going to ease your mind a bit. Like where you actually can start resting. Resting and recuperating. Really becoming grounded again. And let's see what other cards come out. But it feels like really appreciating yourself. Really standing on your own confidently and happily. And of course, cornucopia sits behind that, or sits as the underline. So this is actually moving you towards abundance here, a very abundant cycle. So let's see what the good tarot has to say here. You guys let me do my shuffle. The eight of earth. I guess it might have something to do with work. There's some sort of opportunity here. Creative. The four of fire. This is a very creative energy too. But the four of fire I want to associate with someone else, right? The king of air. And the five of water, that makes sense. As soon as I put the king of air down, I got this, that I just, it was just screaming at me, Cindy, look, he's wearing a mask. I know he's wearing a mask. He's always been wearing a mask, but it was just like, I need to lay that he's wearing a mask. You're not getting everything out of this guy. This purse is something going on here. And I can see that because it leads into the five of water here. It just feels like this person
person is drowning in their feelings and their emotions. Because she's looking like she's at the bottom of the ocean. Like it looks like she's down, you know, into the grass um, and the weeds down there. She's like at the bottom. Almost kind of drowning into the process of her feelings and emotions. Because her arms are very like, you know, she's not like she's swimming, like trying to get out of it. It's just sort of flowing in it. Just flowing in it. I kind of feel like, you know, there's something that you're maybe wearing a mask about when, you know, inside you're just flowing. You're just like flowing and all of this feeling and emotion. It's a lot. It's almost suffocating. Like, you know, when you're down low, have you ever, you know, gone swimming? I'm going to see how far down I can go. And you realize I'm running out of air and now i got to go all the way up. <laughs> so you do, you're really like, you're holding it. It's almost like that. You know, it's kind of a suffocating feeling, but it's, you know, it's weird because this is nice. It almost feels like two elements of your life. It almost feels like two elements of your life. This is color. It's warm. These are, these are very warm, colorful cards. It gets just a warmth to it. And then these two are like blues and aquas. It's very cold. There's like two different elements here that we're kind of talking about. I'm going to do that. I'm going to... No, I can't. If I give you any more of the table, you're going to see me. Some people comment, I don't want to see your face. I want to see the cards. I know. That's okay. <laughs> you can't please everybody all of the time. The Ace of Water is at the bottom of this one. So that's interesting because now you're underlying. You've got the Cornucopia and the Ace of Water are your underlines. This, isn't this cute? This is like exactly the same seahorse. In this card, but this one has something. You know what I think he has? I think he has a little air bubble to help you get up out of this sort of like drowning in your feelings and your emotions. This is like a little air bubble that this little seahorse is riding with you. And you could say it's a pearl, but I, you know, and it could be in any other reading. But this one right now, I'm just feeling very much like it's all this uh, um, like drowning in emotion being at the bottom, like needing to come up for air. And there is a trail underneath the shell that she sits in, and you could say it's pearls. You can take that as you want it. Like you can adjust it to your life story, however it feels. For me, I feel like this person is, you know, trying to come up for air. And there's this trail of bubbles, pearls, bubbles, whatever you want to call it. But that's the sustenance. That's what gives you the breath again. And the sea, you can't reach it. You can't even see it. But your little friend, the seahorse, is. So something or someone is coming in. Oh, look at that. Look what's behind that. It's the two of water. The two of cups sitting behind that. Yeah, like this is someone here who's going to share with you. Who's going to help you. It's like someone who's going to help you. Because you're putting on this really strong front with this king of air. King of Air doesn't lie. He's not hiding any feelings or emotions, this guy. Or no, he is hiding all of his feelings or emotions. He's not expressing any feelings or emotions. He's pretty much sticking to a very business-like manner. You can get almost anything out of this King of Air, I feel. If you ask the right questions, you will get the right answer. But it's a matter of asking the right question. Because you know when someone answers a question, you're like... It's kind of like a text or an email. You're losing out on all of the body language and the fluctuation fluctuation in the voice and the tone that comes with it. That's like 90% of conversation. So when it's just um, typed message, you lose a lot of, well, what are they really saying, right? And that's kind of what this King of Air is because there's no, I'm gonna say, I mean, he's hiding it when, when or holding it in. The feelings and the emotions when they're held in with this guy, with this this energy, there's almost no body language. It's just that that's body language in itself. So just being very neutral and just saying how it is, or just agreeing or disagreeing. Yes, no, okay. Let's proceed that way. Like it's not giving you anything else. I feel like you're kind of like that. <laughs> you're going. You're like that in something because really deep down, it's like you're drowning in all these emotions. But something's coming to give you air. 
So, but this, this is really creative and beautiful on the other side of your life. It's like, I see. Okay, because I'm like, how's this tying in? So I feel like there's two other parts of your life here. There's two parts of your life. Maybe one is your creative life and one is your personal life or vice versa, whatever it is. But this, this feels like this adds to this. This eight of earth and this four of fire. This is creative. This is a creative process with someone else. And it's like celebration because the four of fire, the four of wands is a celebration in something with someone else. A partnership, a commitment, in many different ways. And with the Eight of Earth or Pentacles, it often has to do with work. And we have these two instruments here. So it feels very creative. This is a very creative, expressive course for you. And I don't know if somebody's going to be funding you to do something, or you're getting hired to do it, but it's, it's looking like something like that. And because this rest and rejuvenation is all in the blue as well, which is feeling like this other aspect of your life over here. Oh, I'm sorry if that's noisy. The guy's cutting my grass. <laughs> oh dear. That is kind of noisy. Oh well, let's just ignore it. I'll talk louder. So this, this is, yeah, because this is what you need. So someone, it's almost like somehow you get this breath of air again. Somebody reaches out to you or, um, I don't know, we'll pull more cards to get more information out of it. And then this is where the appreciation, maybe you feel appreciated where you weren't feeling appreciated before in the past. So let's go to the Light Seer's Tarot. I'd like to say he's cutting my grass, but it's mostly, sorry, speaking moistly. It's moist, it's mostly dandelions, but they're good for the bees. I don't want to spray anything on the grass with a kid and a dog. It's not worth it to see you on our feet. Silly. I really want goats and chickens. <laughs> well, you can't have chickens in my town now, but I don't think the yard. It has to. The chicken coop has to be a certain distance from from fences and houses and stuff like that. Oh, wouldn't it be great to go out every morning and get your own fresh eggs? And to have a goat, I love goats, they're so crazy. Cut the grass, fertilizer, get some goat's milk. Okay, what do we have under there? Oh yeah, see you've been sitting and waiting for that feeling. Yeah. All right, what's underneath here? Oh, the High Priestess is underneath. Something unknown that you don't know about. You're about to um, get like, let's say clarification. This air bubble, it's like it's coming in on this air bubble. They're both the same color. The background is almost identical, completely different decks. And it's almost identical, like it's resonating somehow. So with the Eight of Earth, you have the Four of Swords sitting underneath. It's been a time of rest and, you know, um, like not taking any action. Nesting. She's nesting. She's sitting in her nest, right? Sitting in her nest, resting and healing. And a lot of people, I think, have been doing that. Like you haven't been able to go to work or... What is she holding in there? Oh, I see. She's holding like needles are they like actually like yeah like natural needles with string and she's wound herself in there to protect her heart so this is a very creative element in you that you've been protecting it's also not being utilized really in a way because it's not being shared with anything or anyone right now but it needs to be, it's going to be, because look at here, something comes in and lights your fire. The full card is sitting underneath this four of air. It's like something, something or someone wants to take a leap of faith with you towards something here, something very creative. 
and that almost makes you sing again. Like it makes you sing again, makes you stand up, ready to do what you want to do, ready to take action, ready to um, see where this is going to lead you, where it's going to take you. So now the King of Air has come out with a star card. That's fascinating. Because the star is Aquarius, so you could say that the King of Air would be Aquarius energy too, being air. So let me put these two together. And then the fire, the five of water, this kind of being down at the bottom of the ocean. It's so the nine of swords. See, I told you, <laughs> hiding all of this. Hiding all of that. Energy, emotion, conflict and thought. Difficulty sleeping, right? Because look at that. There's the very um, faint, there it is. it's very faint. So it's, they can see like a headboard to a bed and a pillow. These thoughts at night. But I see these this white, almost like um, a dream-like crow coming in into the darker, the darker energy. And as I said, I think one of the first things I said with this card was being able to sleep well. Being able to sleep well. The King of Air and the Star, that's interesting. I think you have a plan or a dream or a wish here. And you're really keeping it tight. Keeping like your cards really close to your chest here on it. Let's see. Let's start clarifying a teeny tiny bit here with the teeny tiny tarot. Isn't that interesting? The split is the High Priestess and the Star. And you've got them showing up. getting hungry. Taurus, do you need a snack? <laughs> Got me hungry in your reading. A snack, Taurus. All right, I want to clarify the King of Air and the Star right away. King of Air and the Star. The Page of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel very much like there's something that you want, that you're planning, that you're hoping or dreaming about here. And you're kind of like watching and learning, looking for signals and signs. Because you feel like when the timing is right, moving forward towards this, which feels better than where you are right now, that this is victory for you. But boy, you are holding your cards so close to your chest. Like it's almost like nobody knows. Nobody has any idea what you're up to. I'm spilling your beans. Your blind spot, maybe your blind spot is everyone else's blind spot is what Taurus is planning here. It feels very much like this is two different elements of your life. Like this is some sort of work creative element. And then this is your personal over here. So the five of water and the nine of swords. The five of water and the nine of swords. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hold it all up. You can see. So we have the death card, the two of wands, the five of pentacles, the five of swords. Oh no, the five of cups. Five of pentacles and five of cups. And then the king of cups here. This is bringing an ending. This is going through a cycle change. This really looks like this is like deep in the guts of a cycle change. Like ending something that was very painful, very suffocating, very um, just, you know, it's put so much in your head. Like you just feel like this is so exhaustion, kind of headachey, um, putting an end to that and moving on to a new, a new outlook, a new projection after you 
I'm sorry he's so loud, but he is doing what I don't want to do. <laughs> so, the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Two fives. This is a need for a change. This is really bad. Like, this is not only, like, your three-dimensional life is not feeling good. Like, needs a change. But the emotional parts, too, right? The emotional parts of it. And I often find the three-dimensional is connected. The three-dimensional is connected to everything. And Taurus, you know that. You're being, like... The, the first of the um, uh, the earth signs and then it takes you into the king of cups though which is great because the king of cups is having like all of these feelings and emotions under control like really having control under them in them where this is controlling you this is more controlling you right if you don't have the control there, there is some sort of release going on though with it. There is a release going on and that release, finally, that change, finally having all this control. And it feels like that, like being able to rest. It's almost like you've been wanting to rejuvenate yourself, wanting to heal and trying, trying, but it's not happening because you're literally not sleeping. I'm really getting that, like literally not sleeping. Look at the Four of Wands is at the bottom. The Four of Wands is at the bottom. So even though these two elements of your life, they're different, they may be connected somehow. It brings some sort of a final appreciation that you have for yourself in. You really appreciate who you are, and when you have that appreciation, you recognize all of the positive aspects and characteristics of who you are. You can rest much better then, right? You can. You can rest much better then. So that's good. I like that. That's a good reading. Don't forget, this is the best part. Anything you're going through, look at that. That is nice. It's like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That is... um happiness, fulfillment, abundance in both health, emotions, your three-dimensional life, you know, your coins, uh, it's everything, cornucopia, it's everything. So there you go, Taurus. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.